Hanuman Khan is going absolutely viral. What's going on YouTube? As you can see, I am back in the studio. Listen, we have dove into the world of Hanuman Khan. And I gotta see what else he has to offer. What else is on deck? Because he is blowing up right now. The internet is going viral with this dude. Absolutely talking about him. So this right here right now is none other than go to sleep. But before we get any further, listen, if you like the hat that I'm wearing, you like the shirt that I'm wearing, knockselmusic.com. Go cop your merch, support the channel, get the brand out there. We got hats, shirts, hoodies. We ship worldwide. If you want to support me, support what I'm doing, I'll put all links down there. But anyways, anyways, know what we're here for. Anuman Khan, step back up to the plate. Let's see what you got. Is that Fight Club on the dresser? Yeah. If I had a dollar every time I was the underdog, I'd be living on an island made of solid gold. For all the times that I felt I wasn't good enough, I'd be falling now, man, like I own the world. Sometimes Nirvana do not feel like it can be achieved, mainly cause I try and find it in a pretty girl. Or in That's a great line right there. Instant gratification versus the perfect world. But I can't help but feel like that is said sarcastically because we know how imperfect the world and humankind is. But what I love, I got to call back to this, right? You got Fight Club on the dresser. Obviously the cigarettes, but the coffee, right? There's this theme of Fight Club, right? Because it's a very consumerist, anti-capitalist message drip throughout and one of the constant themes is this cup of coffee and sort of shots fired at starbucks right in this consumerist culture throughout and i feel like that coffee is placed there obviously the song is called go to sleep but you also have the callbacks to fight club with that simple cup of coffee right there i love that because that's easter egg throughout the fight club video And then the obviously the go to sleep, like it feels like he's an insomniac, the lights flickering so fight club as well. Did he just hit that with a cricket bat? Let's go. If I had a dollar every time I was the underdog, I'd be living on an just this cut sample into the mix it sounds like it's almost running through like a megaphone underneath i love that man in this line i'd be living on an island made of gold if i had a dollar every time i was the underdog i spent my life as the underdog which look at the framing again it feels like a movie like the last video felt very movie like like an action mad max movie this right here just the lighting the shading on his face her yelling at him i love that man i love videos within songs felt that wasn't good enough i'll be falling now man like i own the world sometimes nirvana do not feel like it can be achieved Aye. mainly because i try and find it in a pretty girl uh -huh. or in a bottle while i'm rolling up some sticky green instant gratification versus the perfect world no i don't need your validation i just need a break some of these transitions are wild when he gets like shot in the head and then it transitions to him being arrested that was that was coconut bounty on my head and bounty on my head that is coconuts right like it's nuts it's crazy that is crazy coconut slipping on that and then maybe he's just leaking out white milk from his head just being blown off that there coconut. wow that slam transition Got me dipping at the party cause I need a sleep. I'm Jeff Hardy on the top the shit is damaging Jeff Hardy at the top obviously he gets his head blown off there but like Jeff Hardy is a wrestler the Hardy boys right the hardy brothers so him leaping off like jeff hardy from the top like doing like a swans on bomb or something like leaping from the top because he's damaged and coming from the top but also his brain is slowly killing him inside and he's playing off the top Look right in front of the crowd, but how we manage it? what is that that little just like aluminum hitting sound sounds like we bumped into like something in the garage and it's just like off to the side of the mix the top, the shit is right there that's wild Look right in front of the crowd, but how we manage is that very tinny percussion? I can't tell. Keep that tempo on the rise, a lot of wear and tear. A lot of people say they buy it when they fucking scared. To keep that tempo on the rise, like the tempo of the song, like his movement, his momentum, but also playing off of the Jeff Hardy bar and a lot of wear and tear through the years of doing tricks like that. Now I've been hiding from the AM Pilot wow. Project Mayhem. That transition again. I just want to see how that's done. Let's see if we can get it. 
He gets thrown, 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 leaping down, and then right there, that's when it cuts, and then it cups up into a splash. That's from the AM, Project Mayhem. I can't tell Project you what Mayhem. the fuck it is I do. Got some shit that's in the basement, and if you just keep patient, maybe you can get yourself a decent view. Ooh. Tired of feeling complacent, tired wow. of feeling vacant. Inside of my head's a never-ending loop. I'm just tired all the time, man. Guess it's good night for the time being. Go to sleep. Mm. Wow. Maybe all this shit was just a motherfucking dream. Go to sleep. Wow. Maybe the flash mob and the pause as the music just cuts out for a second. These transitions are vicious. Right there. Full cut. Go to and then the action kicks back in. So you got the lines in my head's a never ending loop. I'm just tired all the time, man. And again, that key Easter egg for me was the Fight Club book. Because one of the themes of that is, you know, he's an insomniac, right? And he's suffering from sleep when he thinks he's asleep he's not actually asleep he's like sleepwalking out playing a different character in terms of brad pitt so you have this never-ending loop and this confusion of time and just feeling tired all the time so he's taking that as one of his themes of the track and he's layering that throughout and applying it to his own journey right and his own grind and everything that he goes through being tired all the time and just having these voices in his head and feeling like a never-ending loop like he's always a part of his own journey of fight club and going through it <laughs> Love that double. The burden when you live with Tyler, there it is. On your window. And then right there, literally, as I start talking about Fight Club some more, Tyler Durden shouting out from Fight Club. It's a burden when you live with Tyler Durden. So he has his own Tyler Durden, his own Brad Pitt in his head telling him to do these things. And then again, very Fight Club esque. He's getting his ass kicked. So here. you find yourself observing even when you want to rest, because rest assured he be determined to show nice. what you have been facing when you're racing with the vermin. It's hey. a rat race daily. What we chasing is disturbing. It's a rat race daily. What we chase is disturbing. Remember the rat race of consumerism and capitalism and living in this corporate slavery, this nine to five box. So he's tying these themes cleverly into his verse. Racing when you're racing with the vermin, it's a rat race daily. What we chasing is disturbing. Never happy to win scraps of whatever that we love. That Diddy just what was that? Diddy? No Diddy? What am I doing? Jeez. Put me behind bars. I need to stop that for a second. But let's get back to breaking down these bars. I was going to say, I love that gritty distortion underneath of the bass. I don't know where Puff Daddy came from, but God help us all. Rat race daily, what we chasing is disturbing. Never is happy to win scraps of whatever that we've been learning. Is deemed worthy to impress us. Understand as they are serving. Yes, I'm talking about these. What was that little just like glitch in the matrix for a second? Hang on, let's see if we can keyframe catch it. No? Where did it go? I swear, I swear. There it was, right there. Hey, hey, that's Brad Pitt right there. Literally, Tyler Durden. What up? That was dope. That was a dope little cut. Back to the coffee, the coffee theme throughout. This is well written. Oh, and then he pops up like he's just been imagining this the whole time. Again, the insomnia and what is real and what isn't real. And sort of the, the self-deprecation lines. I've been hurting. I deserve it. I'm a piece of shit. The verdict. Like the self-emasculation that you find throughout Fight Club. And then him dealing with this and going through his own psychological journey and fighting his own demons. I've been hurting. I deserve it. I'm a piece of shit. The verdict. Knock the teeth out of your mouth if you feel froggy like you permit. <gasps> and this ain't magic. I'm not Merlin. Got a bunch hey. of people piss with licking. Bunch of people pissed, like being pissed off versus pissing in a urinal. Magic to Merlin. We got some bars. Magic, I'm not Merlin. Got Froggy girl. A bunch of people pissed with licking sit inside the urine. Doesn't matter what I said. It doesn't matter how I'm working. Only thing that really matter in the end. I've been at it from the AM. Cali Project Mayhem. I can't tell you what the fuck it is I do. Huh. Got some shit that's in the basement. And if you just keep patient, maybe you can get yourself a decent view. Tired of feeling complacent. Tired of 
These are wild transitions, but I think the other characters represent much in the same way. Like we jump from our main character to Brad Pitt and back and forth, like he's jumping into other characters. Go to sleep. Mm. Guys, I'm tired for the time being, and it kind of winds down there, and there's like a robotized mix. So I love how he lulls you down here, and then the juxtaposition is go to sleep. Duh, and it's more yelling, and then the aggression just kind of kicks in, and it literally is like an alarm waking you up after falling asleep. Go to sleep. You know, it's ironic that go to sleep is not said like go to sleep, like. Because if you really meant go to sleep, you wouldn't yell it. That would wake somebody up. You see the way in which that is done and delivered? I love that. It kind of makes a point on its own. Hey. He just dropped like a John Bones Jones Superman punch right there. Love the playing on like the surrealist clock. Pillows. The halftime beat, man. Chopped and screwed down. And the pills. Ooh. There's the Starbucks, I'm telling you, bro. Yes. They did their homework. Uh-oh. We got a part two. That's menacing. Feels like a heartbeat underneath. Yeah, I love the cinematography again. And, and like I said, it was... I love when you can take a theme and you stay true and consistent to that theme. And in this case, he wrote a very clever double throughout this, right? Tying it in with the world of Fight Club, but then also tying it in with just his own issues with trying to sleep. And you could see him up at like three in the morning, like writing this and just feeling that and just feeling so tired on the grind. And then having this conflict of identity and who he is, much in the same way, our character of Fight Club has a conflict of identity and confidence issues and fighting through that and it just feels like it's a clever play on that world and what is real and what isn't as we dive into a new mankind's psychology that was dope man i enjoyed that one you were not so certified hope you guys like today's video this for some reason you're here at the end obviously enjoy the content do me a huge favor support the channel directly subscribe notifications on really really does go a long way i love you guys stay safe stay positive it's my noxo you know i'll catch you again